Hi there smart monkeys and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters and I post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. So yeah, I'll be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button if you want to know when I post any new videos. Um, in this specific video, uh, this is sort of the sixth video in the measurement series and this one we're going to look at body mass index. I'm going to explain to you like what it is, how to calculate it and really just how to calculate any type of BMI question so that no matter what they ask you in a test and exam, you are able to answer it. All right, so let's do this. <music> So this is the six letter under measurement and we're going to be looking at body mass, body mass index, uh, BMI. And this is a fairly simple uh, concept. Um, I'm going to first explain the concepts and then I'm going to go through some examples uh, with you. Okay, so if we look, we have to obviously understand what body mass index actually is and what it means so that you know what it is that you're calculating. Ideally, there's this range of where your you in with that that looks at your height and your weight and based on those two values will determine if you are healthy weight or if you are an unhealthy weight okay so where your bmi lies which is the calculation you do that includes the height and the weight will tell you whether someone is healthy or an unhealthy weight for their height okay so the way you calculate the bmi would be you will say the weight in kilograms over their height to meters squared. Now, it's nice, for, I feel like it's easier for you to understand if you just think of someone, two people that weigh 65. Okay, let's say they're 65 kgs, right? But the one person is, is 1.7 meters tall, where the other one is only 1.4 meters tall. Okay, but they weigh the same. The person that is shorter, this is a heavy weight for them. So yes, 65 to some people will seem normal, but depending on your height will actually determine whether that weight is healthy or not. And so the BMI helps us to actually do that calculation so we can see where this person's weight actually lies and where sort of their health status lies. So if we look at the actual calculation, how do you calculate it? I said it's the weight on kilograms over meters square. Then based on that answer, so let's say you get an answer of, you do this calculation, you put your weight over your meter squared, then you end up getting a, a BMI of 23. So what the BMI status is on the left hand side here, it will say, okay, if your BMI is equal to this totals, then on the right, this is actually your status. So if this person does the BMI calculation and they notice, okay, theirs is 23, they fall in the normal category. That means that they are a healthy weight for their height. Okay, so that this is pretty much how you would answer the questions. Now, in an exam situation, grade 12, BMI can literally only be asked in one of three ways. And all of them will give you different scenarios and different ways of writing. But ideally, essentially, all the time, they will be asking either one of these three questions. So in a BMI calculation, you've got the actual BMI value, you've got the height, and you've got the weight. In any question, they will always give you two of the three. So they'll give you two of the three, and then you have to use the two that is given to find the third value. And always based on what the BMI answer actually is will determine and classify whether that person is underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese. That is literally the entire chapter. Okay, so I've given you an example of each now where of the two, they give you two and they ask you to calculate the third. And I'm going to give you all the possible calculations. So when you read a or when you go through a test or when you go through an exam, you always try and ask yourself, okay, so which of these three categories does this question apply? And then you use this specific me method for that question. Okay, let's look at the first question. It says, Boosie weighs 68 kilograms and is 1.7 meters tall. What is Boosie's BMI and what is her weight category? Right? 
So again, the formula, this you don't have to memorize, is given to you in the exam. So this is the BMI. So what they're asking you to do is calculate her BMI. They give you her weight and they give you the height. So this is just a simple plug into the formula type of uh, question, right? So again, her weight is 68 over 1.72 and then the base you must square. Okay, and then the answer here is 23.33 kilograms per meters squared. That's the uh, unit for BMI. So if I look in this range now, do you see that she falls in this range, the second one? So it's 23.33 falls in this range, right? Which means that she is, her status, her weight category is normal. So that means she is the normal, she is a healthy, normal weight for her height. Okay, sorry, this is supposed to be meters squared. Okay, let's have a look. So this is, yeah, so Busy is normal weight. So let's have a look at the second example now. So here they say Michelle has a BMI of 32.77 and is 1.6 meters tall. What does Michelle weigh? What is her weight status? Now, you will notice here is that they give you the BMI and they give you the height, but you now have to calculate her weight. Okay, so you again, you'll start with the formula and then you will just substitute the values that you do have. So you have the 32.77, which is her BMI, and the bottom you'll have her height, which is 1.62 meters squared. Now we need to calculate the question mark on top there. So the method that I teach my students that makes it this sort of very easy is I do the cross multiplication method. So what that means is I write down the value on the left, I put over one so that both sides have a fraction. Okay, and then I say the top value multiplied by the bottom value and that answer I then put on the left. And then the bottom value at the top multiplied by the top value at the bottom, I'll put on the right of the equal to sign. So that means if I say the question mark multiplied by 1, that is there, and then the 32.77 multiplied by the 1.62 squared will be on the right hand side. Okay, so the answer of each arrow goes on either side of the equal to sign. Right? So that means the weight, which is what I'm trying to calculate, is equal to 32.77 times 1.62 to the power of 2, and the answer is 86 kilograms. Okay, now the question also asks what is her weight status? Now again, this we could have actually told even from not doing the calculation because the weight status is based on the BMI and the BMI is given to you in this question, which is 32.77. So that means here yeah, that this person, Michelle, is obese. Okay, so again, did you see in the first example now, they give you the weight and they give you the height and you must calculate the BMI. In this question, they give you the BMI and they give you the height and you have to calculate the weight. So I'm sure you can imagine what the third example would be is where they are asking you and they're giving you the BMI and the height uh, and the weight and you must calculate the height. Okay, so let's look at this question. John has a BMI of 44.9, he weighs 88 kilograms. What is his height in meters? Okay, so, re so if we have a look at this, we see again, substituting all the information that we need or that we have and now we have to calculate what the question mark Okay, so again, I put both sides and I make sure that both sides is in fraction. And then I go cross multiply and each answer I put on each side of the equal to sign. So this 44.9 times the question mark, I put on the left side of the equal to sign. And the 1 times the 88 I put on the right. It doesn't matter which side you put which answer, as long as for each calculation you make sure that you put it on either side of the equal to sign. Okay, then... If you look at this, we're trying to find the question mark, right? We're trying to find the um, height. So that means I need to take this over. But remember in the previous uh, video I showed you, when you take it over, you have to do the opposite sign. So this is being multiplied, so I'm going to take it over and I'm going to divide it, right? And so I get an answer of, I'll, I'll divide this, but I need to find, this is squared. I need to find the square root of this. So that means my height is then 1.3999.68, which is then 1.4 meters. Okay, so the secret is always to have your formula, 
know that there's only three values that can be substituted in your formula, they will always give you two. And of those two values, you will then substitute it into the formula. And then you will, if it's the BMI, you will just do the normal calculation. If it is either the weight or the height, you'll have to use the cross multiplication method and then solve it as if it was an equation. Okay, and that is BMI. It's as simple as that, guys. BMI is really not a difficult section, but it must be explained and you must understand it to be able to answer all the other questions. So hopefully I, I was able to sort of make that a little bit easy for you. All right, thanks so much, guys. <laughs> All right, so that's that video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or any recommendations for future videos, please add it in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.